Match 46 of the Big Bash, the Adelaide Strikers against Brisbane Heat. Let's build our fantasy team on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Cricket Info. I'm Rana Kapoor and Mike Hussey is all set to join me. Right, let's go to our pro tip for this one. And even though spinners have done reasonably well at the Adelaide Oval this season, both teams are missing key spin bowling options in uh, both the Afghan spinners, Rashid Khan and Mujibur Rahman. So go with fewer spinners in your 11. Hus, what do you make of that? Yeah, I think it's not a bad call. Uh, yeah, obviously Rashid Khan's gone. So uh, that's a huge loss for the Adelaide strikers. Uh, and yeah, generally the, the the boundaries are quite long, straight, and a bit shorter, square. So it's normally a beautiful batting pitch, but the faster bowlers seem to be doing a little bit better at the Adelaide Oval. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go to uh, some player availability. Again, no major changes expected for uh, this game from the last time that uh, both these sides were in action. But do check in closer to the toss for any latest or more updated injury news or team news. Uh, going to our team, before that, a quick reminder on the My11 Circle Fantasy app, 100 credits for every user to build their fantasy team. Four categories of players to choose from. Batsmen, bowlers, wicket keepers, and all-rounders. Every player's individual credit value is listed on the app. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any given contest. And we'll throw in four substitute options for you towards the end of this video as well. Captain choice for this one, Chris Lynn. No surprises whenever Brisbane Heat plays that Chris Lynn is going to feature heavily, even though he's not played every game this season. He's uh, been in pretty good form whenever we've seen him. He scored 20 or more in his first six games. He accumulated 273 runs and a strike rate of over 145. Has struggled against the likes of Rashid Khan and Peter Siddle in the past, but with both those players unlikely to be available for this one, expect him to score big. There's Phil Salt as our vice-captain option, the 24-year-old English opening bat. He's had an indifferent tournament, 226 runs in 11 games at a strike rate of under 130. However, his top three scores of uh, 59, 51 and 31 in this year's Big Bash have all come at the Adelaide Oval. So uh, Chris Lynn is captain, Phil Salt is vice captain. They give you double and 1.5 times the points respectively. So pick them very carefully. Alex Carey features in our top picks. The Adelaide Strikers skipper tried opening the batting in the last game. Didn't quite go as well for him, but if he decides to open the batting where he has done well in the past, he could get you some points with bat and, of course, with the gloves as well. Mark Steckney is there, one of the leading wicket takers in the ongoing tournament. 18 strikes in just nine games, average of under 16. Key player for Brisbane Heat, especially in Mujib's absence. So we're uh, going with the um, with the form of Mark Steckney. And Wes Agar, another informed bowler, the highest wicket taker in this edition of the Big Bash for the Adelaide Strikers. He's impressed one and all with his wicket-taking ability. 17 wickets in 11 games at an average of under 20. He's been particularly good in the middle overs. Wrapping up our topics, Chris Lynn is captain, Phil Salt is vice-captain, Alex Carey, Mark Steckery, Wes Agar. What do you make of that? As in particular, our choice for vice-captain. Yeah, the vice-captain's an interesting one. I'm tempted to more go for one of the uh, faster bowlers, either Steckity or uh, Wes Agar. Wes Agar in particular has done very well at the Adelaide Oval. And a couple of expensive games recently, but uh, once he gets back to the Adelaide Oval, he's normally been pretty good. I like your pick as, ca- uh, as captain, though, as Chris Lynn. Um, you know, particularly with a uh, depleted bowling attack of the Adelaide Strikers, losing Rashid Khan, Peter Siddle's still injured. Uh, yeah, if he gets going, he's going to be hard to stop. Yeah, I get you lots of points when he does go big, does Chris Lynn. So you you got that from Mike Hussey. Let's go to our differential picks. Jack Wildermuth is there. He's been a regular feature. He's enjoying his big bash, his best big bash season uh, ever, having picked up 10 wickets in nine games, striking the ball pretty well too. In the last couple of games, he's had a few cameos with the bat, a 22 not out of 10, a 31 of 11. So uh, Jack Wildermuth in our differential picks. So to Max Bryant, even though he doesn't have a 50 plus score this season, he has 243 runs in 10 games, striking it over 130. And the second highest run scorer, for Brisbane Heat after Chris Lynn. So Jack Wildermuth and Max Bryant are differential picks. Our full teams is Alex Carey as a keeper option. Chris Lynn and Phil Salt as captain and vice captain respectively recommended by us. Max Bryant, Joe Burns, Jonathan Wells, Jack Wildermuth, Lewis Gregory, Wes Agar, Mark Steckery, who Mike Hussey believes you should consider. And there's also Dan Worrell. Uh, alternate scenarios, uh, Joe Denley could replace Joe Burns in the 11. Jonathan Wells could replace Lewis Gregory in the 11. Now, Mike Hussey, do you prefer any of those? And any other last points you'd like to leave our viewers with? No, I, th- I think you've nailed it. I think it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy to stick with the team that you've uh, selected there. I think it's a pretty well-rounded team. You've got all the, the big names in there and all the good players. So I'm, I'm willing to back you on that one, Ronick. Well done. Thank you very much, Michael Assi. It's been a pleasure having your thoughts right through this uh, Big Bash League. Don't forget to check in closer to the teams for updated player news. And we'll be back with plenty more on my 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Rick and Info during the Big Bash.